Hey guys, Lockie from Eastbos Australia here with your Eastbos match reaction to the 4 0 win over Watford at Wire Hart Lane. Tidy stuff. I'm gonna keep this one short, guys. Mmm, 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 mmm. That was um, a bit of a different gravy than the the one we got at Swansea in midweek. I mean, um, obviously everyone sort of expected a win here, uh, apart from the diehard Spurs fans who always sort of <laughs> expect the worst, me sort of included, I bet, on, on Watford today, just to cover my bases. But I didn't expect it to be so... Professional, clinical, fun, even. Um, Delhi, I mean, okay. First 30 minutes, finding our feet. Obviously, we were going to be in control. Watford had a bit more confidence than we maybe thought they would. They are a strong team. But, you know, once Delhi Alley took the whole world in his hands and, and popped that ball right in the corner like a boss. I mean, for one of the goals of the season, surely, I'm so jelly of the people that were behind that goal to just see that ball <laughs> scoop on into that net there. <sighs> it was it was ridiculous. It was outstanding. The boy's a genius. And I gushed about him enough on the last video against Swansea to, I don't know, it, it, Gareth, Gareth Bale-esque, I'm not sure when, it's been two seasons, I'm not sure when this guy became this genius of a player that we can count on to get these extraordinary goals and, and, and provide these extraordinary assists, but he's there, and he has been for some time, and it's, he's just so young and so talented and so brilliant, it's, we got to... Drink it in while while he's here. Hopefully he's, he's here for a very long time, but he does sort of remind you of that Gareth Bale-less character that's just destined for for greatness. Hopefully he achieves it at, at Spurs. I mean, part of a really good triumvirate with Son and Ericsson. Again, all three of them were superb. Just switching places, Watford had no idea who was going to be where, they're all brilliant assist makers, and um, they can take a shot from outside the box, they can be in the box, they can finish, they can do it all, and I feel, um, unfortunately, Vincent Janssen sort of got overshadowed by by that today, uh, obviously he had that one, well, he had two quite good chances to score, one where he, he did his typical hold-up game really well and he did his hold up game very well throughout the throughout the match he he's a good player um unfortunately he did not have the poise or you know acuity to sort of that 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 obvi I'm talking about the the the, the obvious chance where Trippier who had an outstanding game as well Kieran Trippier what a boss um yeah, you know, he crosses it in. Jensen is pretty much straight on with the crosser. He he can see the trajectory of it coming in. Yeah, there's two defenders in his way. And sure, you can assume that one or both of them are going to get a touch or that none of them will get a touch. And that's uh, that's what I think he, he... He lacks that little bit of... You know, he's a young player and he's new to the Premier League... Uh, not sure if the Premier League thing really counts here, but he probably should have been more... He should have anticipated the chance coming to him. It, it shouldn't have bounced off of his knee and onto the post. He should have been a bit more ready. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm, you, you could easily go the other way and say, hey, it took a touch off a player just in front of him. He wasn't to know. But I feel like the best strikers, and probably Harry Kane would have been ready for that ball coming to him. So, I'm sorry. I love Vincent Janssen, and I was willing him as much as any other Spurs fan today to, to, to go out and have a great game, but I don't think it was great. It was good. It was acceptable. It, it, he, he is a utility, but it wasn't what we really want from our replacement striker.
like I said, he got overshadowed by the brilliance of the other three in our attacking trio. Um, I've already, yeah, Deli Ali's goal. Hong Min Son, um, again, uh, I, I, this, this review, I mean, I should just get the defense out of the way real quick. We defended really well today. All our defenders are really great. You know that, I know it. Vegetable lasagna over here knows it. <laughs> um, you know, they're great. Good on them. They did really good. Especially Trippier, by the way. Absolutely brilliant. But, uh, getting on to Son. I, for one, uh, just got to put my hand up. He proved me wrong. And uh, I think a lot of other people wrong. Um, uh, a lot of people have been uh, sort of frustrated by his performances when he starts games. Um, obviously, he's a great impact player. He, he, he's shown that already. But when he starts games, uh, there's, you know, there's questions about his performances over 90 minutes, I guess. Um, today, and against Swansea, <laughs> prove me wrong. Hey, I'm wrong there. A lot of, uh, there's this one guy, Harry Charalambus on Twitter. That guy doesn't ever flip and admit he's wrong, and he's wrong all the time. I'm more than happy to admit that I was wrong about Son. Um, you know, he has more than adequately filled in while Harry Kane's been absent. He's been brilliant. And his finishes today were outstanding. The first goal, where a lot of people have been critical of him, of his uh, choices uh, he makes when he's got a lot of time on the ball. He had all the time in the world with that first uh, strike. He, he could run, he could pass, he could do whatever he wanted. He knew what he wanted to do, and he kicked it right into the flipping goal <laughs> and was an outstanding finish. His second was expertly taken, a, a beautiful cross from Trippier. His positioning, the way he marauded up the lines uh, throughout the entire game. Harry, uh, sorry, Carl Walker has stiff competition for right wing back in Kieran Trippier, who has beautiful eyes, by the way. His uh, post match interview with Hong Min Sun for, you know, he's giving him the, the man of the match award. Kieran Trippier has beautiful eyes. Check that out. But, um, yeah, anyway, Son's second goal, absolutely incredible. Really great stuff. Um, yeah, it was, it was just, it was just good stuff all around, wasn't it? I mean, Dyer again, he's, he's back in midfield. He, his finish, his finish was amazing too. He, he managed to get the trajectory just right that it sped up when it came off the, the turf. Um, just good stuff. He, he's back in... Great form back in midfield. Um, I mean, there's not much. There's not much to say about a game like this, uh, apart from that. It's a bit weird to be a Spurs fan and to be so self-assured and so confident. I mean, we're yeah, we're, we're chasing Chelsea, and it's. Probably a foregone conclusion who will win the Premier League this season. But we're playing bloody good football. We're a really great team, and we have no one to fear. We, I mean, we beat Chelsea. We beat them three out of four halves that we played them this season. If we hadn't had so many injuries, or maybe if Chelsea hadn't been so rubbish last season and had to play a bit of game in Europe, maybe they wouldn't be so far ahead. Maybe they wouldn't have gone on that ridiculous, Ridiculous winning streak. I mean, we're, we're Spurs, and we're comfortably second, and comfortably the only real team in the country that are chasing Chelsea, and we've played many more games than them, and we've had many more injuries, and we have way less billions of dumb Russian dollars to deal with. So, I mean, it's just... If you're one of those people that are still getting negatives out of these games, if you're like, oh, Sissoko was... Just chill out. Enjoy a 4-0 victory where Harry Kane came back a million weeks before we expected him to, ran around, and kicked, a, kicked the ball straight into the post from a brilliant free kick, and just smiled about it after, like, whatever. 
we can, we're probably going to have four players score over 10 goals and maybe three players that score over 20 goals this season. It's just such a good time to be Spurs. I feel like I've made a lot of videos this week. It's, they've come thick and fast, and thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you want to make one of these, just pop one together. Send a little email down to Ian. Andy here, he's going to take care of you. Obviously, there's a lot more I could talk about here. That I mean, I'm not going to get into the nitty-gritty of player ratings and all that crap, but I just the feeling is palpable at the moment. I mean, we're... Come on, you Spurs. Catch you guys next time. This is Lockie from East Spurs Australia. I'll see you then. Ciao.